Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Joshua 6 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. And, they, and ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus, thus shalt thou do six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall come past the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when they hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests, and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on, and come past the city, and let him that he is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass, when Joshua had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord, and blew with the trumpets, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests and blew with the trumpets, and the re reward came after the ark, and the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And Joshua had commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I bid you shout, then ye shall shout. So the ark of the Lord compassed the city going about it once, and they came unto the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord, and seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord went on continually, and blew with the trumpets, and the armed men went before them, but the re reward came after the ark of the Lord, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And the second day they compassed the city once and returned into the camp, so they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass on the seventh time when the priest blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city, and the city shall be accursed, even it and all that are therein, to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. And ye, and ye, sorry, and ye, in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourselves accursed when ye take of the accursed thing and make the camp of israel a curse and trouble it but all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the lord they shall come into the treasury of the lord so the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox and sheep, and ass with the edge of the sword. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the, the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out thence the woman and all that she hath, and ye swear on, as ye swear unto her. And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brethren and all that she had. And they brought out all her kindred and left them without the camp of Israel. 
and they burnt the city with fire and all that was therein, only the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass and of iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive and her father's household and all that she had, and she dwelleth in Israel even unto this day, because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. And Joshua adjourned them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that riseth up and buildeth this city Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn, and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was noised throughout all the country. Alright guys, so in this chapter, we see where the Lord actually gave the children of Israel a strategy on how to actually conquer Jericho. So they would march around the city for six days once. And then on the seventh day, they should march around on for seven times. And they would give a shout at the seventh time. And when they did, the walls of Jericho came tumbling, tumbling down and they went in and did as the Lord commanded them. And they killed everything save Rahab and her father's household and everything she had and save the vessels, of course, that would be put into the treasury of the Lord after being consecrated. All right. And we all know the song around the wall of Jericho. Yes, that very famous song that we Jamaicans love to sing. Yes, around the walls of Jericho, around the walls of Jericho. Here you go, the famous song, the verse, the chapter for the famous song. Okay? Alright, so we see where even though in past people have battle strategies, this battle strategy was very simple. They just had to believe in God and do as God had commanded them. Remain silent. And let me tell you something. You see that part that says they should not speak a word until Joshua told them on the seventh day to speak and to shout, not speak, but shout, to give that shout, that victory shout. Let me tell you, that is what God wants us to do at times. He wants us to be quiet. Be quiet and remain still and just do as he commands us. And when he says speak, then we will roar like lions. Okay? Because that's what he, he wants us to do. Okay? He doesn't, he's a man that he does not, he's not a man of many words in some cases because he moves and he does things. Sometimes he'll actually let you know what is actually happening okay it will actually lay out everything for you but in other circumstances he does not lay out anything for you he just tells you what to do and you ought to do it and obey and guys i'm just telling you sometimes we all need to remain silent silence sometimes is where we'll actually claim our victory in our silence when you're silent, you get to hear what is happening around you. When you're silent, you get to hear from God. When you're silent, you get to contemplate on your thoughts better because you're sitting down and actually going over everything in your mind. You're silent. And sometimes we even need to silent our minds as well, quiet our minds so that we put aside everything and just lay there and let god do his work through us okay that's what we need to do sometimes okay all right so guys please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you're alerted to whenever a new audio video is posted and guys please don't forget to share your thoughts your revelations and your comments down below in the comment section until the next audio video enjoy your day walk good keep your salvation if you have not gained it as yet it's a good day to start okay have yourselves a blessed day Bye.